In this quick video guide, I will show you how to download and install a simple software which is used for photogrammetry. So just going into Google and doing a search on this photogrammetry uh, term, we will see many different uh, types of images and techniques and software used for, for this type of uh, technique, which is uh, based essentially on the recreation or the development of a 3D model, not by modeling, so not by using a 3D modeling software such as 3ds Max or Maya or a Cinema 4D or Blender, but uh, we will create a model just using photographs. So as you can see, this is an example of taking pictures all around the object and then the object, the object will be auto-created, auto-generated, thanks to these images, thanks to, to these pictures. And uh, as you can see here in this uh, uh, image right here, all the pictures are taken around the object. So what uh, we will need to do is to take a lot of pictures and uh, to get every uh, point of view, every angle of this uh, subject. So this is how photogrammetry works. These are the basics. And there are many software, uh, not too, too many, but uh, there are some software uh, out there that can do this job. In this case, and just to be sh mm, precise, don't confuse the photogrammetry with 3D scanning. You will often see looking for mm, photogrammetry, uh, you will uh, often see the term 3D scan somewhere like this, as you can see, this image, uh, 3D scan. But in this case, the, the scan is not really a scanning, but it's just taking pictures with the camera. So 3D scanning is a little bit different. 3D scanning needs also um, an, an, a device, uh, some hardware that help you to um, create, you know, the 3D, the virtual 3D model. But it's uh, not by taking pictures, it's by using some uh, particular device, as you can see here in the pictures. So they are similar, they are similar, but they, are, uh, they have some differences. Uh, the main one is that photogrammetry can be, uh, you can do photogrammetry on your own without buying any additional tool. And it's um, simpler because you just have to use a camera and you can also just use uh, your smartphone to do the pictures. So in this uh, video, we will see how to download um, a software called 3DF Zephyr, which is one of the photogrammetry software out there. And it's pretty... Um, uh, well done, so it's uh, it's uh, easy to use and uh, it has a lot of tools and um, you know the by um, features that will help you to create these uh, uh, 3D models based on images and also it's uh, uh, they have a completely free. So right here on the main page, you will find a download link for a trial. This is the professional version trial. So you can uh, either choose to uh, do a trial for, on the professional version. Otherwise, you can go to the download free trial here on this button, or else you can go to the 3DF Zephyr free application. So you have, uh, you can choose and you know, this is a, a little uh, less professional, but still does, does uh, some uh, uh, excellent work. So in this case, I will download the TDF Zephyr free uh, version. So I will click here and you have a US mirror, Asia mirror, and I will just wait for the software to download. You can see this is not uh, a heavy software, it's pretty light. Uh, and because uh, it does essentially just photogrammetry and uh, it has uh, a bunch of tools to uh, refine the geometry once it is uh, created. And 
you will find on the website a lot of resources. It's pretty, it's pretty well done. And if you go on the subpart pages, you will find also tutorials that will guide you uh, through each step. And they are all in English. So it's, you, you will not need to do any course. You, ju you will just need to follow all the tutorials right here that will explain to you how to create all the different types of uh, uh, photogrammetry um, models. Um, and you will see how to create uh, single objects, small objects, large ob objects, and facades for uh, architectural uh, renderings and uh, how to use the drone to create um, their 3D of large areas. So you will find a lot of resources, as you can see here. And OK, so um, anyway, you, you can just explore the website. It's uh, pretty easy to understand. And you will find, as you can see, a lot of examples. Again, here you will uh, see the different solutions to buy the, the different type of uh, software offered by the, uh, the, the TDF, the 3D Flow production team. Okay, so the software is almost uh, finished to be downloaded. So I will click here and sorry, this is in Italian, but you can just click on open when it finishes to download or you just have to wait and then go to the download folder to find the, the installation file, which is this one. And it's almost done. So it should come up. There it is. And I will just click on OK, move on. And I, I will install the software. Yes. OK, and then you choose the language. In this case, I will choose Italian, but you can choose any language on the drop down list right here. Let's click OK. I accept. And you can choose the destination where you want to install it and the name. And also let's create. Um, I don't want to use this software as a standard uh, visualizer for the 3D models, I have other software. So I just want to create a desktop icon and I move on and I install. So as you can see, uh, it's pretty quick and uh, easy steps using this uh, installation wizard. And let's just wait for the software to install. Just a few more seconds and there it is. And I want to close and I want to open the software right away so we can see it together. Let's finish. And there it is. All right, we are inside. This is the, the interface. And again, this is a reminder or to check out the free tutorials on the website. Uh, they have a fix Facebook page and a community and so on. So we don't care about this. So not now, thanks. And I will now open up this window. And this is the, the main interface. Uh, so as you can see, here, you have a lot of menus. You have a lot of tools that we can use to uh, open projects and uh, generate 3D models, uh, exporting the, the model to other software, to other application, and a lot of tools that you will see in the tutorials of the official website. Uh, one important thing, uh, if you want to export the model because you, you want to refine it, you can use another software which is pretty famous, which is called ZBrush. And thanks to this, software, which is a 3D sculpting uh, software, you can refine and add many more details to the, your model. And you know, you can create some sci-fi um, characters or props. You can use it in video games and uh, or 3D printing and entertainment, movie, and so on. 
So I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching and I will see you in another video.